Today I wanted to share with you some of the 10 gadgets that I use my day-to-day -day basis that make my filmmaking process a lot easier and might make yours too. So I wanted to start off this by sharing a little bit of my mentality behind these gadgets and why I think is worth sharing. So my goal with these gadgets are two things, either to make my work easier or faster, ideally both. That's always the mentality behind any gadget that I bring it with me on my day-to-day -day basis. For me, gadgets are just like small, everyday things that I can bring and just kind of help me do things faster or easier. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the problems that I had and then how the gadget solved those problems. Just so it gives you a little more context on how I use it and how I came about these. So the first problem that I had was just carrying my camera around but not in a sense of like a backpack or anything like that. It was whenever I went for a walk on a park or went to get some coffee, I wanted to bring my camera with me, but I didn't want to have to bring a backpack. The main problem is that I found myself just kind of holding onto the camera the whole time. So if you're holding onto the camera and you buy a coffee and now you feel like both hands are being used and you need to grab something else, that by itself becomes a problem. So I found this body clip that basically allows you to attach your camera to yourself. And I thought it was really useful because a lot of the times we want our cameras at the ready, but the fact that you're holding your camera can be a burden sometimes because as I mentioned before, you're holding onto all these things and it just becomes a problem. I don't always plan on what I'm gonna shoot, but if something occurs, I have the camera at the ready. It has helped me to shoot more and do more things just because it's so much easier to carry my camera now. Following the sense of carrying the camera, I found this inexpensive little travel tripod. And I always felt like this was the best option for me because I can do the whole talking to camera thing if I need some distance from the camera. It obviously works as a tripod. It has a bow head so I can point it however way I want. If I wanna do vertical videos, I can. If whatever I need, that tripod tends to accommodate very easily. Even though it feels a little silly for me to be recommending you a tripod on a gadget thing, this is not my main tripod by any means. Not too long ago, I went on this deep dive about lighting and all the things that I didn't know. I felt like there was this gap on my knowledge type thing on lighting and more specifically on the diffusing side, the negative, negative fill, negative fill, negative fill. Negative. More specifically on the diffuse and negative fill and kind of like bouncing and understanding how light reflects. So learning those things, I found that I had the tool is a five in one reflector. This little thing is ridiculous. Once you understand lighting, once you understand how to shape light, how to best use light, this thing becomes your best friend. You're talking about white bounce, silver bounce, and gold bounce, meaning you have two different intensities of daylight and a kind of goldish colored bounce. Inside, you have a diffuser. Obviously, negative fill, which once you learn about lighting, you learn that is a lot more about what you take it away than what you put it in. Having that type of negative fill that can easily be popped into the side and to however way is so crucial. Jumping to the editing aspect, something that I personally, I'm not gonna say suffer because it's a strong word, but I had a little bit of a trouble a lot. And I guess a lot of people that own IMAX might really relate to this. All the USB ports, all the ports are in the back. Even though it looks nice, more often than not, you find yourself fishing for a USB port. You're just scratching all over the iMac. Ugh. What solved that for me was a USB port, but not just like a cheap one that comes out of the, the computer. Those don't work. You need to find a USB port that also has a power outlet. I'm personally always working cross hard drives and I'm always having to look for different things and different hard drives. So having a way for me to pop them in or out or having access to multiple one of those at the same time has helped my editing quite a lot. And it's such a small thing. It's something that I felt like I knew I needed, but I ignored for a long time until my girlfriend gave me this. You know, when something solves a problem you didn't realize you had, and you just feel like that warmness inside speaks to you. Hey, I'm just gonna pause the video here for a split second and ask you, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We make videos here every week. And if you like this video and you wanna see more, you know, 
it would be cool if you subscribe. That's it, let's go back to the video. As a cinematographer, I always look to create texture, I always look to create layers, but a lot of the times we either short on time or the location doesn't look as good as you hope. Something that I saw, it came to handy more times that I could count, this atmosphere spray in a can that does an incredible job. So useful whenever it comes to creating small little things or you're trying to, you're trying to give your scene a little more texture to it, a little more atmosphere to it, you're trying to create a dramatic scene or you're doing a music video and you're using color light so now the the atmosphere kind of embraces that light kind of linking to that atmosphere thing i found that colored led lights are very expensive i haven't got myself a decent rgb light find it that using colors tends to be like a small little thing on the side so what i found was this little power switch and this little lamp incredibly cheap incredibly affordable that i can literally just plug into the wall clamp it anywhere and just have colored lights it works as a computer light it works for background it works for like if you want to add a little bit of color to what sometimes might be a boring shot or a more straightforward shot if you're trying to add a little more light or a little more color a little more texture to your images a lot of the times just adding a little bit of color here or there the next thing is one of my favorite tools so when i started filmmaking i always felt like i needed a full toolbox i always had this mentality that Whenever I get to a good position within filmmaking, I'll be having like a toolbox with me the whole time because you're basically fixing things as you're making things. I came across this multi-tool from Small Rig, which is a multi-tool for filmmaking, meaning that all the little tools that you have in there is based on most of the filmmaking tools that you need. And I found that that is incredibly useful. Even simple things as like a tripod plate, it's so annoying when you can't find something to screw. So having that tool of me, incredibly useful. Talking about camera plates and attaching camera plates, no, tripod plates to the camera. That is something that has frustrated me more times than I could count because I was that guy who always kind of carried a coin because it was the best tool for it. For some reason, most tools don't work as well. I usually freak out if I don't feel like my camera is properly attached to the camera. No. If I don't feel like the plate is properly attached to the camera, if I feel like there's is a little loose or anything like that, for me, I need to feel secure. There will always be a point where you don't have the coin because either you spend the money or you lose the coin or you won't have it. And when that happened, I had a friend that had this little tool on his keychain and he just borrowed it to me and it was just one single piece of metal and for some reason that blew my mind it's meant for the one thing you have to do in every single shoe i need to have it surprisingly enough i found it for like adp on amazon so i bought a few of them that simple is one simple piece of metal but it's strong enough that i feel confident screwing with this and making sure it won't slide off or rotate or come apart whenever you're doing these things you want to trust that the trap is going to hold your camera you want to trust that the plate is not going to come loose you want to do things and not think about it again it just gives you that peace of mind you know it's something that you always kind of like i feel good because i have what i need uh next one might be the more unorthodox of all these and it's something that once i started using i realized that i could use that for everything everything like not just filmmaking, around my house, uh, around everything. I just use this stuff all the time. And it's Velcro. is a ridiculously good tool that I feel like nobody uses. If you have a monitor, you run out of power and you, you have this power bank that now can help you power this monitor, but you don't have where to put it. You can Velcro the power bank to the monitor and now you don't have to worry about it. When you start thinking about all the things that you could do that with, there's no limit. The main reason why I personally use Velcro and the reason where this kind of started, I wanted to carry my hard drives with me. I would forget that I had the hard drive attached to the computer, so I would get up and the hard drive would like dangle and come out and heart attack as we all experience once in a while. And I found that by putting Velcro on the hard drive and Velcro on the case of my computer, I could have the hard drive attached to my computer so it would never fall. This is all Velcro. Every single hard drive that I have, that is like a portable hard drive, 
has Velcro on it. It's the first thing I do when I buy a hard drive. Maybe I should do a video about my hard drives. And the last thing on our list, again, alongside Velcro, having a variety of tapes has come in handy incredibly, incredibly well. I will suggest for you having gaffer tape, paper tape, and electric tape. But having these three, I found that pretty much covers 80% of what I need. They are incredible to hold things, to put things together, to if you have cables around the floor, you can tape them down to the floor. If you can use paper tape to label things, you can use electric cables if something comes apart or if a cable is exposed. It's ridiculous how useful it is. It's always necessary. Not just with tape, but now with all of these things, especially if you're an assistant or if you're coming on set with someone else and you wanna be useful, bringing these things, nobody has to ask you to bring tape. If, but if you, if you have a little pouch or a little bag where you have some of these things, somebody needs Needs it. You're you're working for the first time with a DP or the filmmaker you're helping out in a commercial. You know what? Their their thing keeps falling and the tripod leg is loose. Either you have the tool to fix it or you have tape to put it together for that shoot. You will be a hero. You be the person who they will always call because you're prepared for any situation. The idea with filmmaking is that you're fixing things as you're making. You're solving problems. Things happen all the time, but being prepared on different levels. That's it, I've been talking for too long. I hope some of these were useful. I hope maybe I shine a light on a problem you had and but didn't realize. Hope I'll see you next week. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye.